New hybrid variant of COVID is our latest reminder that the pandemic is far from over. Tracy A. McPier tells us how scientists are testing the waters to detect new surges weeks before they hit hospitals. Tracy? Well, COVID's Omicron strain has morphed into a new version called BA2. I talked to a leading epidemiologist about the warning signs and technology that will alert us when it's here. I hadn't heard from anybody having you know, Omicron recently, and yesterday I heard of two people, so I think we're going to start seeing any recent cases. Emory's Dr. Carlos Del Rio says while a large number of Americans have some protection against COVID-19, news of the BA2 subvariant is cause for concern. We know it's more transmissible, it's not more severe. And because it's more transmissible, it's likely going to spread more rapidly. And while numbers right now in Metro Atlanta are relatively low, wastewater testing suggests more COVID cases across the U.S. on the way. The CDC has 698 sites that screen for COVID in wastewater that comes out of showers, sinks, and toilets. Around 40 percent of testing sites now seeing an increase, including DeKalb County here in Georgia. Wastewater testing is a, new is a good strategy to find out if a community is having an increase before you see cases. You'll see wastewater increase in about 10 days to two weeks before you actually see increase in cases. So it's a good indicator that something is happening in that community. Del Rio says right now we are in a dip before the next surge. So he says now is the time to prepare. If you haven't been vaccinated, get vaccinated. If you haven't been boosted, get boosted. Now, the city of Atlanta's watershed department is also testing for COVID in wastewater, working alongside Emory and Georgia Tech. Now, that testing surveys neighborhoods like Mechanicsville, Pittsburgh, and West End. The city of Atlanta is expected to release a new study on those findings next month.